Good morning, dear ones. Just making a quick video this morning. It's really cold again. Oh, there's that shadow. I gotta figure out a way to prevent that shadow from... It's because the light source is coming from over there. I've got one of those hanging lights, so I could put one of those uh, light-saving or economical type of bulbs, uh, green, friendly, and all that good stuff. And, and uh, these things here, these uh, RVs really can eat up a lot of electricity. And especially if you're using, let me show you, I mean, that's what I've got over there. But if you use these things right there, um, it actually eats up a lot. It's incredible. I mean, the f first month here, I, uh, it was $140 electric. I was like, what? I didn't even spend that much in a three-bedroom house. So these things are not that efficient. So I find, I'm trying to find ways to make it efficient. So I got that light with that special bulb. And I'm hoping that's going to help. I got a little heater there, compliments of Jessica. Uh, it was given to her as a gift, and I asked her to please leave it behind because I knew it was going to get very cold here. I still haven't gotten the propane, and I'm still debating because it's like $450 for the container, and I don't even know if that includes the propane. I'm kind of playing it by ear. I might get a couple more of those little space heaters or ceramic heaters, which is what it's called, and place one in the room and maybe place one in the middle there and see if that, you know, I mean, I'm sure it'll eat up some electric, but $450, you know, that's, yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of playing it by ear and seeing what, what's going to happen. Anyway, that was not what this video was all about. It was meant to be an inspirational good morning video, and somehow things got in the way. My breakfast is waiting for me right there, and that's just cut up apples, some grapes, dry oatmeal, um, some cranberries and raisins and almost like a, a muesli without the yogurt. I might put a little bit of coconut milk on it. I love coconut milk. That's what I'm, I put in my coffee and uh, I, I put in I make my cereal. I put it in my shake so I get a lot of coconut milk and uh, avocados. I love avocados too but I have those at night and my peanut butter during my smoothie so I am getting probably more fat than I need to but I know it's winter time so I'm like not worrying too much as it is I could tell that my face has lost weight I was looking at some of my older pictures there um, a while back and you know I could tell I could see the sunkingness here a bit and you know I'm also getting older and as you get older your facial fat tends to go away and your body your face tends to sink in and then the wrinkles and all that stuff although i'm very lucky i don't have many wrinkles i think the most wrinkle i have is right over here in my smiling lines because i'm always smiling and i have some up here from all the time trying to do this because i can't see <laughs> that great but um yeah anyway i hope you guys have a fabulous weekend um I, tomorrow's going to be busy for me because it's the LGBT Grand County potluck that's once a month and everybody needs and brings a gift and then from there I go to the UCC church which is at one o'clock which is I like it that because I don't like going early early to church that's kind of like uh although I get up usually seven thirty eight o'clock depending on my eyes open but I don't like doing rush rush in the morning that's I did that for so many years of my life and you know as you get older you just want to unwind I think the retirement age should be 50 not 64 but 50 you worked I mean I've been working since I was 13 so you know it's crazy that you see these older folks that can't make ends meet they're still working because they can't live in the retirement check and after they've just raped you literally through your entire life you know, why don't we think about what is really going on in this world and why are we allowing it to happen to us? We just sit back watching football or some stupid soap opera and, you know, we aren't really paying attention to what's going on and what's been done to us. We owe it to the future generation to stand up, rise up, and stop the stupidity. Anyway, guys, I love you so very much. I hope you have a great weekend and a great starting of the week. I'm sure I'll make another video before that. But anyway, I love you. And remember to always, always love yourselves too. That is so critical. So many of our transgender brothers and sisters are killing themselves. Because they don't feel the acceptance in the outside world. The key is 
acceptance within. You can't have approval from everyone. Something I learned a long time ago. And gender is not our only problem. Gender is just a very small, minute issue in the world that we make it so because it shouldn't even, even matter. It shouldn't. But I'll talk some more about stuff like that during the radio show. Please continue to support Transition Radio. It's a passion. And I'll bring you more and more stuff every week. As I delve in deeper within me, I will share it with you.